So hi, I'm Skipper Wise. I'm the founder of Blue and the president. And one of the things that we're doing over here at NAM, our art czar has put together, his name is Ken, uh, has put together this wonderful explanation about how the blue microphones, because there's a lot of products, are broken up. For example, we have our studio ser series with the interchangeable capsules, like our bottle mic and our bottle rockets. And we go into our live series, like our Encore. Um, we have our desktop USB microphones, such as the Yeti, which has just won the Innovations Award at CES. And our Snowball, which of course has been the best wired uh, USB microphone um, on the planet, in terms of selling. Um, but we also have something here to talk to you about, which is our multi-pattern series. Uh, people have known for years about our cactus microphone, which is that wonderful vintage sound. Our kiwi microphone, which gives you that larger-than-life type of sound. But these microphones, with the cactus being at $24.99, the kiwi being at $19.99 selling price, we wanted to be able to bring a multi-pattern microphone into the series of multi-pattern selections that was something that was unique, and we were able to come up with a new product we're showing you today, which is the Reactor. And if you'll notice with the Reactor, we have a few unique things. It is a three pattern mic, and the patterns are all selectable in the front here. And you can do that by turning the magnifier, which shows between cardioid, omni, and figure of eight when it's lit up. One of the other things that's unique about the microphone is that the head turn. So let's say you want to get close to a signal source, you can put it right there, right up to whatever you're recording. And of course, the reactor is blue. The design, the shape is something unique, and that's what people have come to expect from us. The reactor, though, the best part of it is the price point, which is going to be at $499. And the reactor will be shipping during the end of the first quarter of 2011.